YouTube. Uh, my name's Phil from Stable Vehicle Contracts. This is my Golf R Estate. Um, I just thought I'd take you through a couple of the features that are new to the uh, to the facelifted Golf, uh, including uh, active info display um, and the new uh, Discover Nav. I've had it for a couple of weeks now, so I've uh, I've had time to, to play about with the uh, the features, um, but. There's still loads of, um, of bits that I haven't used yet, so uh, take a look, I'll try and figure them out. Okay, cool. So um, most of the changes that have been made to the to this to the new Golf R, um, are sort of most of them are inside because it's just a, a facelift. Um, probably the biggest change is the new Discover Nav, uh, which is in the centre console and active info display which replaces the uh, the normal dials that you get on like a regular car and um, they're quite similar to Audi's uh, virtual cockpit um, so the basic idea with that is in, instead of having the normal dials it's replaced with a big screen and then you can just um, scroll through loads of different settings um, you know making customizing it to how you want to, so whatever you want to display like your music um, or the nav or anything that's basically you can have on in the center you can put on there behind the steering wheel so it's a bit easier to see when you're driving okay so we'll talk about a few of the different things that you can do that, which I've learned to do since I've had this car for the last couple of weeks on the uh, active info display okay so as default you've got on the left you've got um, uh, what is that that is revs uh, with the gear that you're in um, and because this is the the estate, it just comes in the DSG. So I think if you had the manual, that would just that would obviously change as you change gears. Or because this is the auto, the gear changes obviously as you as the the DSG box changes. Um, and then on the right, you've got uh, split your speedo with your fuel gauge on the bottom. Um, with the speed in the centre as a big number. And what I found is, rather than looking at the uh, the speedo dial changing I'll just look at the big number in the center because obviously that's a lot easier to see because it's so much bigger um, and then in the center you can have lots of different things so you can have sort of like a consum consumption basically lots of different driving data so oil temperature speed average speed distance traveled and you can change all these from sort of last start uh, sorry since start uh, since refuel long term which I think is since you've had the car um, basically more information than you could ever need um, and most I've found most of it I haven't really been looking at because I don't really need to see it that often um, so that's driving data and then basically the idea is that you're on the uh, on the driving on the steering wheel on the right hand side you've got these two little uh, buttons like scroll left and scroll right with an okay in the middle so as you scroll right you go through uh, a load of different things that you can have in the center. So uh, driving data, assist systems. So that's basically like ACC, like the cruise control, uh, navigation. And that's probably the one that most people will use. And what that does is it puts the, nap, the, the map in between the, the dial on the left, which is uh, revs and the dial on the right, which is speed. And then if you press okay, it's probably the coolest thing. What it does is it makes the nav a lot bigger and it reduces the size of the uh, the dials. Um, and now as you keep scrolling right, you've got views. And basically the idea behind that is, as I said before, in the center of the two dials, you can have gears and miles per hour. You can change that to sort of consumption, um, just disappeared. Efficiency, navigation, driver assistance, loads of different things instead of having the gears and the, uh, and the, and the current speed. Um, audio, so you can have you know, what radio station or where's, where the audio is coming from, Bluetooth. Telephone, so that's basically um, if someone's on the phone. Uh, vehicle status, lap timer, that's obviously good if you're taking it on a track. Uh, and then back to driving data. It's like I said before, it gives you loads of different things. Consumption, average consumption, range, traveling time. Like I said, more info than you could ever uh, than you could ever need. Um, and that's pretty much active info display. 
I found it really useful and I don't think I'd like to go back to a car that's got normal dials. However, I have driven Audi and Audi with a uh, um, virtual cockpit and I think that's got a lot more different features on it compared to um, Volkswagen's, um, what's it called? <laughs> Active <laughs> Info Display. Yeah, sorry, got the, uh, got the two names mixed up there. Um, yeah, so that's all this that's all controlled using the right hand side of the uh the uh, steering wheel and then on the left you've got like the normal things so like cruise control and then like volume um like you not no, normally would on the multi-function steering wheel like i said before after active info display the biggest change to the uh, to the facelifted golf is the new discover nav uh system so the biggest change is rather than having sort of like a screen and then like a plastic surround with buttons it's now been replaced by a full piece of, a full piece of glass with um and then like sort of touch screen areas going down each side um it looks a lot better it's um it sort of sits into the whole uh piano black finish inside the car um the only thing i've found which i struggle with a bit is it's obviously a lot difficult a lot more difficult to uh to sort of touch somewhere on a touch screen while you're driving whereas with like a physical button like the heating controls it's, you can just find it a lot easier um because you sort of know what it feels like whereas with a touch screen you uh you don't actually know where about to touching you just gotta hope for the best or take your eyes off the road which obviously isn't the best thing to do okay so i'll just uh i'll just whiz around a couple of things uh, a couple of the the main buttons that you've got around the outside so you've got radio uh, media phone voice nav app car and menu okay so radio um that's like what you'd expect pretty much the same as the previous volkswagen models uh, with discover nav so you've got dab you can change that to fm uh, station list uh, manual so you can tune if you wanted to um and then normal settings like audio settings sound you know changing the bass things like that uh, media that would be if you wanted to connect your phone via bluetooth um or i think you i think that changes uh using the aux uh, auxiliary port as well um so if i connected my phone via bluetooth that's where you'd uh, control that um you've then got a uh, a knob for uh power and also turning the volume up, volume up and down then you've got phone so you, uh, that's what you could do. You can save favourites. Um, you can type a number in, and uh, that's for the uh, the phone that's connected via Bluetooth. So you can go through contacts, calls, settings for the phone. Voice. Um, I haven't had to use that at all. So it says you can activate the voice control function uh, by means of an activation key. Please contact your dealer. So I presume that means that I haven't got this. Um, on the car as standard although i have used the voice control in the uh, app connect which i'll come to in a minute um then on the other side on the right hand side you've got nav so at the moment because i've got the map on the active info display all that's shown on the screen in the center is just the compass and then all the different options along the bottom so new destination my destination point of interest view and the map and a map button so basically if i press that what happens is the map comes off the active info display in the centre behind the steering wheel and jumps onto the, uh, the Discover Nav. So basically you can switch it between the two. That's how you do that. Uh, then you've got App. And basically what that is, is welcome to App Connect. Please connect a device via USB. So if I plug my phone in. now, So what it says is you've got Android Auto, Apple CarPlay and Mirror Link. So, because I've got an iPhone, when I plug my phone in, uh, it comes up with um, all the icons, like what you'd see on your phone. So, you've got phone, music, maps. So that's Apple Maps, rather than using the uh, Volkswagen Maps. Messages, uh, now playing, podcasts, audiobooks, Audible. So, that's if you wanted to listen to uh, audiobooks and Spotify. And I've, I've found this really helpful because I've been using Spotify from my phone so basically i can have all my spotify songs on my phone and stream them 
straight onto the uh, Discover Nav system. And because that's plugged in, it's charging at the same time, so I haven't got to worry about you know using Bluetooth and then arriving at work and my phone's dead. And that's really good, I found. So that's App, which is App Car Connect, and I've been using Apple CarPlay. Then you've got Car, and what that is, is all the settings for sort of like tyres, personalisation, driver assistance. So that's all the information about like, um, sort of like mileage. Um, anything that I've talked about before that was on the screen in the centre, so that's consumption, um, you know, when's the service, when's the next service due, all the settings for the car, and then you've got menu, and basically that's just um, all the different settings for all the things that I've previously talked about, so radio, media, Apple CarPlay, traffic, telephone, images, sound settings. There's absolutely loads to be getting through on the Discover Nav. Okay, so that's the uh, Discover Nav system in the new Golf. What I'll do now is I'll start the car up. We'll just go for a little drive so you can see what the active info display looks like uh, while driving. That was a uh, brief rundown of the new features in the new Golf, so that's Active Info Display and Discover Nav. Okay, if you've got any questions uh, or you've got any comments, just drop them in the box below. Uh, make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe because we're going to be bringing loads more uh, videos like this to our YouTube channel. Cool.